So I've got a very cute dog here. She's like, Mommy, I want your attention. But we, but Daddy just took you outside. Do you want to come up and watch a, a really bad video with me and keep me awake? Anyway, hi you guys. My name is Emily Jones. I'm a former paparazzi consultant. Today I am batch recording and reacting to videos that have been shared with me. Um, so I don't know who these people are in most cases. I'm just reacting. I, I pick a title of a video that you guys said to me and I watch it and I react to it. And the last one nearly put me to sleep. So, um, that one's uploading right now, but this is going to be tomorrow's video. So we are going to watch and react to this one. Um, I don't recall exactly what the title of it is why it's important to not to give up is the title of it why it's important to not give up and quit so this one is information control uh as part of the bite model so we will get started on this one and hopefully i can stay awake for this one thankfully this one's a lot shorter it's 25 minutes long now I'm doing the best I can to not stop and pause and comment all the time so right now I'm just listening to what they say and pointing out bite model specific things and then I'll do some constructive criticism at the end say hi that's why I know I'm approved or not hi I'm so nervous oh my gosh anyways hello <laughs> Um, I'm going to do a little introduction, but I'm going to wait for it to be approved. I have those earrings, by the way. So, hi. Terrible start. So, hopefully, hopefully now that I turn my Wi-Fi on, I can get approved. <laughs> oh, my gosh. If you guys are watching, you're probably watching the replay. So, hashtag replay. So, I know you stopped by. If you have any questions, I'm so nervous. Why are you nervous? I don't even know who this person is. If you guys know who this is, leave a comment down below. Like I don't know how everybody else can Like, my dog is going to probably be barking the whole time, and I'm so sorry. But, waiting for the world to change. <laughs> Anyways, maybe, maybe. Maybe. Can we speed this up? Let me message the group. Maybe somebody can approve me. Maybe. 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 <laughs> I sped it up to one and a half speed. Oh my gosh. I am so nervous. I know. You guys probably can hear me say that 15 times because I am a nervous wreck. I'm going up to two. I don't know if anybody can even approve it. <laughs> I have two devices for a reason, though. So. Hopefully, hopefully this will be working. What? Happy Thursday. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know how to tag people. Wow. Oh, my tablet. I'm glad I sped it up, you guys. Okay, I see somebody watching. So, hi, whoever's watching. Say hello. Now that it's on. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, my God. Maybe it's not. Some, maybe it's not. Am I crazy? Am I crazy yet? Okay. I feel like there I'm we go. Okay, crazy. so I'm approved now. Hi, Crystal. Let me send this to my team really quick. Um, as you can hop on, say hi. I have literally never done trading before, so this is like super nerve wracking. Um, so yeah. Yeah, it shows. <laughs> but happy Thursday. I am a nervous wreck. God help me. What am I doing to myself Where today? is my team chat? There it is. <sighs> Thank you, Crystal. Okay, so I, I'm just going to wait a second for some people to hop on. Let's make sure you guys share this to your group chats, please. And it's not really so much a training as it is of why, well, it is kind of training, of how important it is to never give up on your business. Because I'm going to be talking from my experience because I have given How important is it to never give up on your business? Okay. Um, if something's not working, and I'm just going to say, if, if, if you do your taxes year after year, 
And you see that you are not making money, you're spending more than you're making, you're not paying yourself a salary, um, you are spending more time and it's basically a lost cause. If, if you did that year after year after year, and you were told not to give up because you don't want to be a quitter, you should keep going, keep trying, that, why is someone telling you to keep going when you yourself see it as a lost cause? Uh, there's so much, so much there, but it, it's concerning. It is very concerning. I've been up in my business way too many times and it has stalled me so far. So. We're gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, so if you guys do not already know me, oh my gosh, this is such a hot mess. My thing is totally like hot mess express, like that is completely who I am. Um, Can you get so if you guys don't know please? me, I am Tiffany. I am a star consultant with paparazzi. I haven't hit director yet, but it'll happen when the time is right. And that is so important to wait for the time to be right. Um, I have been paparazzi for two years now. I just hit. She's been a star consultant for two years. She hasn't made director yet. So here's my question. Is she trying to recruit people? And my other question is, is she still an active consultant? So I, I'm going to go and look under consultant name. And she said her name was Tiffany. Tiffany. I don't know if it's Tiffany with an I or a Y. So I'm going to keep looking while she talks. My two-year mark in May. And my direct upline is Angela Neal. She is amazing. Go love train. And yeah. Okay, so. I don't even know how to jump on in. This is making me so nervous. So I have notes, thankfully, because I knew I was going to be scatterbrained. So I'm going to talk about my why of how, why I started Paparazzi. And then I'm going to tell you all like, why I continue to Why it is so important to never give up. Was her why because she had spent so much on jewelry that it was cheaper for her to join for the discount? If that's a thing, I want a ding, 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 ding in the comments. So let's see what she says. So why I started Paparazzi was I was, I love Angela. She's amazing. Um, <laughs> I was working full time doing retail in thrift stores. So those are a whole ballpark in itself. And COVID hit. And as soon as COVID hit, my life completely changed. I was laid off for the first time in my life. That is terrifying. And hi, Wendy. That is so terrifying. But not only, I, I wasn't the only one laid off. My husband was also laid off two weeks after me. So I had to figure out something to get an income because there was nothing. There was nothing. Hi, Sarah. There was unemployment during that time that you could apply for. If you were truly laid off and furloughed, you were eligible to get unemployment. Yes, some states it was a little bit harder to come by, but as long as you put your hat in the ring for it, you were supposed to get it. So it was like so stressful and so I had to figure out something to do. So my, I was watching paparazzi for a while and my best friend's older sister was selling the heck out of the bling and there was one night where I literally sat and watched how many pieces she sold and I was in awe and I had never tried paparazzi before and I think that's so and um, here's why it's so important to to not be spammy with telling people to join your team and everything because my upline um, because my up my direct upline actually quit hi Whitney my direct upline actually quit on me, like literally two weeks after I joined. Um, she quit and... Red flag, why did she quit? And here's another thing. If you're watching someone go live with an opportunity and you see them going live and you see all the jewelry on the wall behind them, but they're slinging a lot of bling, you gotta think of it this way. How much of that is sitting on the wall that they haven't sold? Because right now I'm looking at this star consultant with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten Z collection pieces on the wall behind her. She has ten Z collection pieces on the wall behind her. At $25 a pop of unsold money, she has 
of inventory sitting on a shelf behind her. And that's a lot of money. That can honestly pay a power bill. Um, a car payment, if you have a used car that's, you know, not crazily expensive. There's $250 just sitting on a shelf behind her right now. Literally, she had only mentioned joining a paparazzi one time. One time was at the very end of one of her lives. And that was it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I could do this too. Like, I was like, how do you do it? And I was like, so transformed. But I'm getting sidetracked. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> so I was working retail. I absolutely, like, May of 2020, I got rehired to my job, thankfully. But, and here's the whole thing, is it's totally retrospect was I came back and there was all of these new regulations because of COVID to where my position, hi Esmeralda, my position was like totally not changed, but we had so much more put onto us as like supervisors. Sorry, if I talk really fast, I'll try. You know what it was? You had to take temperatures of people. You had to wear masks. You had to enforce hand washing because just because the company, the country was reopened, yeah, we still had a lot of regulations in place. And honestly, these things I think should still be kept in place because COVID is on the uptick again. It's what now, but nerves get to me. I have really bad anxiety, so this is a whole a whole other ballpark for me. Um, <clears throat> so we had all these new responsibilities of things we had to do, and it was too much stress on me, too much anxiety. I went into a very bad place mentally. So if you guys struggle with mental illness, you guys understand completely. It was rough. I hated my life. I hated my job. It this is bite model. So this is something that I feel is predatory. So if you guys struggle with mental illness, so did I. I was on the struggle bus, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Well, um, it's kind of predatory behavior and that one time that i watched and i was she told me about joining and i was like boom instantly i like literally had to wait for like a week for my payday and i joined like i didn't think about it i didn't look in i didn't look into paparazzi at all red flag red flag red flag i didn't think about it i didn't look into it i just jumped in with both feet Okay, no. Ugh. I joined going in completely blindsided. And it's so important to think back of why you joined it to continue your journey. And I say journey because as the time you go with paparazzi, your why is going to change completely. Like, I, after I joined, I quit my job within a month. Within a month of, of joining paparazzi, I quit my job which is totally crazy, like, I, I came in totally blindsided. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh. I, I, we're just gonna keep going. I just, I'm just, I'm flabbergasted right now. Um, it's so important to remember your why of why you're doing this, because as... I already said that. As you go on, your why changes. Over the two years of me being paparazzi, my why has changed so much. My why isn't because I wanted to quit my job anymore because I already did that. My why is because I want to keep up with the friendships that I've made. I've been able to reconnect people that I haven't talked to in literally 19 years. And now they're like my best friends all over again. Okay, this is what I wanted to say. The definition of blindsided is to surprise someone, usually with harmful results. The recession blindsided a lot of people. Okay? It did. We were, we were blindsided by the pandemic. We, we, it hit us out of nowhere. But the other thing is, is joining an MLM without knowing the information that you should know before joining ends up being harmful in most cases 99.56 percent of the time people are harmed by joining a, a multi-level marketing company 
So I'm just going to leave that there and we'll keep listening. But yeah, she blindsided herself. She joined an MLM by not doing any research before joining. She jumped in blind with both feet. And now she's got $250 of dead money on the wall behind her. She quit her job to do this full time. I, I, you, I'm just curious what the situation is. Um, I want to be able to continue to stay home, to continue to take care of my health. When I was working retail, if you called in ever, you got in trouble. Didn't matter if it was your first time, like they hounded you. But that is not always the case. Um, if you fully disclose your health when you go in for a job, I am on a recognized disability and I disclose that I have health issues in my job interview on my resume and I let them know that I am recognized as a disabled person according to the uh, American with Disabilities Act. And I will do my best not to call out and I will do my best not to fall down and break any limbs. But, you know, if you have a good employer that understands and you are fully 100% transparent with them, you won't get in trouble. You, you just won't. But you have to be the kind of person that will, will be honest and say, hey, I'm not feeling good today, but I'm going to show up. And see, my not feeling good is different than other people's not feeling good. If I'm not feeling well, it's because I'm in a, an extreme amount of pain. I will still go to work in extreme pain. And then if they can send me home, I will gladly let them send me home. But I will push through because, one, I made a commitment. Not only to my employer, but to myself. Like, why are you calling in? You, you can't call in. Come to work sick. Like, that is the type of place that it was that I was working and why it was such a toxic place to work at. <laughs> but, um, so your why changes. So you really have to think about why you continue, why you want to continue pa your paparazzi journey. Yep, it's a journey. Like mine is to continue living life. Over a year ago, my best friend actually lost her life. Um, she was eight and a half months pregnant. Okay, uh, this is trigger warning. So, um, now she's trauma dumping on people in this training. Um, we're nine minutes in. We've already seen several red flags, and now we're getting the trauma dumping. All right. Okay. I'm trying not to cry. But she was eight and a half months pregnant. Hi, Julaine. And when... She passed. I did not want to do anything. I completely shut my business down. I was like, I took for granted the life that I was still living and because she was no longer here. And since I took time off for that, which don't get me wrong, if some, like, something drastic like that happens in your life, you absolutely need to take time for yourself and you need to grieve. And, but I didn't, I took the time and I just didn't do anything with it. I decided to be lazy, being completely honest. And I just let my business go. Um, over the year now that I've had, I have thought back and I talked to my sponsor a lot about why I wanted to do paparazzi and my, my fire just wasn't there. It wasn't there at all. Um. I'm going to say I'm a lot. <laughs> so you never really realize how good you have it with paparazzi until it is taken away from you. Or until you can no longer... Babe, can you shut my door? Okay, can you shut my door? I'm doing training, please. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, my husband came inside to show me something. Um, This is all over the place. I'm so sorry. I've never done training before. I need to really structure my next one. It shows. Um, but this one was so important to me because with summer, so many people give up on their business. And they don't think that because they aren't getting any viewers, they aren't getting any sales, that it's just okay to take the whole summer off. And that is totally not true. You don't want to do that. With summer, you want to kind of flip your mindset 
and people aren't going to be watching lives as much because they're going to be out living their life. The sun's out, they're going to be outside enjoying the sun, right? So you want to kind of flip your mentality of different ways to sell rather than doing lives because nobody's going to have the time to sit around. Yeah, this is why you have a bling bag and you take it with you everywhere, right? And watch you blabber on about jewelry. So that's when like messenger parties are good, album drops, like there's so events, events are so good, especially if like county fair, um, like there's so many things to do. Even just like doing a little like pop up uh, in home sale, like come shop my bling, like open house, like so. That's when you really want to swift your mentality because so many people are out and about doing garage sales that they will easily stop by your house to look at all your bling. Like, I don't know why I'm doing like this because you guys can't see my sides, but I have bling everywhere. So, the, you have to think back to your mentality of how can I work this business during summer or when it's slow. There are so many different ways to sell this bling. It is crazy. Messenger parties are, have been a good hit for me and photo albums, drops. You really got to make sure that you're working your business. Um, if you have something happen and you need to take time off, take time, give yourself time, but limit your time. And that is one thing that I really had to learn was to limit your time. Because if you don't set like a time, like maybe you decide to take a vacation, take that vacation, but limit it, limit it to that time. Like, don't be like, oh, I'll just go live when my when I come back from vacation I'll just take like a week off because if you don't limit it you ain't coming back and that's somebody that like that's coming from me I took time off last summer to spend it with my goddaughter and I just was like mm, I'm not going live it's too hot so yeah if you give yourself a vacation you limit your vacation time and then when you're done with vacation you go back to work but some people, they realize that while they're on vacation, they take a good look at what they're doing and they think to themselves, hmm, this hasn't been working for a long time. I need to be real with myself and learn from this and maybe I need to return to the actual workforce where I get an actual paycheck. I can start doing this again on the side, but I'm going to put focus on actually making money, not pretending to play business. When I'm not truly in a business, I am a 1099 glorified customer of paparazzi jewelry and accessories. Like, don't let your reasons for doing this business be your excuses to not work your business. If you guys heard that, drop it in the comments. Don't let your reasons for working this business be your excuses not to. Hi Tasha, hi Rebecca. Um, oh my gosh, um, I need to stop saying um. <laughs> if you have somebody in your life that can hold you accountable, definitely get yourself an accountability partner. It doesn't have to be somebody with paparazzi. It could be your husband, your mom, like somebody that will hold you accountable to doing all the things, right? If you need to have an accountability partner to keep yourself accountable to your glorified customer status of paparazzi, because she herself said she is just a star consultant. She has not reached director yet. I don't know if she is still active in paparazzi. I looked for her name, couldn't find her. But if you need an accountability partner to keep yourself active in your multi-level marketing company, um, they they encourage you to find another paparazzi consultant to keep you accountable. Uh, like in the live that David and I did yesterday, if David would have been my accountability partner, he would have told me to quit a lot sooner than I had um, because I was in a lose-lose situation. So, you, there's so much. I just, I can't wrap my head around it right now. Like my husband, he holds me accountable for going live because half the time I'll be like, oh, I'm going live this day and this day. And then I'll just be sitting in front of the TV and I'm like, I don't want to go live. And then he'll look at me. He's like, no, you said you're going live. Get up and go live. Get yourself somebody that'll do that to you because that is a game changer itself. 
if you guys are new, give yourself time to grow. Don't compare yourself to other people because that is just going to push you down. It's not going to continue to boost yourself up. Give yourself time to grow. If you're making a comeback, like maybe you decided to give up and you're coming back, welcome back. Give yourself time to grow back up. As somebody that has taken way too many breaks, I took like a month off for my health because I was having some very scary heart problems. Uh, give yourself time to grow back up. It's not gonna happen overnight. You're gonna lose customers because you weren't being consistent. I learned that the hard way. I went from doing $1,000 a month to doing 500 sometimes. Like, So I took a too big of a break and it's really affected me my fire isn't here anymore yes push yourself push yourself take a second and think about why you love paparazzi and why you want to do paparazzi like for me I was a really big person about taking care of my family I don't have kids but my mom had several surgeries this last two years so I have been very thankful that I have been able to take time to take care of my family hi Angela um, so really take, take a second and reflect back on why you love paparazzi. Like when I lost my best friend, I realized I hadn't really been living my life. And like by that, I mean, I was just going day by day, like not doing anything fun, not setting, like taking vacations, not spending time with family. I was just barely living, barely living. And if it took losing my best friend to figure out why I need to keep going with paparazzi, then it took that because it definitely did. Because I lost her, I realized that I don't live life. I don't take vacations. Like, I don't spend time with family. I just don't ever do anything. So within the last year, I have taken vacations. I have rebooted my mentality. Hi, Taisha. Make sure you guys share this to your team pages, please. Because you never know, somebody might need to hear this, okay? Because I am a truth speaker. Like, I don't, I don't lie. I don't lie. I don't, I hate liars. But, um, find what made you want to do paparazzi and fight for it. With this mentorship, guys, one of the tasks was that we have to do personal development. I think that was one of the weeks, but I've, I've continued doing it. And if you guys were at convention last year, you guys heard Trent Shelton. I'm still sad that I missed him, but he has a podcast and there is an episode that is called Fight For You. I honestly think every single person could benefit from listening to that because it, it hit me to my core. Like you really have to continue to fight for yourself. You have to fight for what you love. You have to fight for your family and you have to fight for all those dreams. You really have to fight. Nobody's going to stand here and do it for you. Nobody's going to stand here and do the work your business for you. Like, so for example, some of the things that would have, hi GM, is it G? I I feel like I always say your name wrong. Oh my God. This is training. This is training. I'm sorry, but uh, I'm bored again. I'm like sitting here just bored to tears and I'm so sorry but um some of the things that wouldn't have happened if I gave up I wouldn't have had one of my downline join she literally joined on the verge of me like wanting to give up Gina okay see I always say names wrong and I feel horrible about it because I like to be personal with people um I wouldn't have been able to take a random trip to California. Recently, me and my mom, um, I just found out I'm going to be an aunt. Well, not too recently, but I'm going to be an aunt. It was my little brother who I never thought was going to be a dad. So we recently took a spur of the moment trip to California to see him and take him a whole bunch of stuff for the baby. So I wouldn't have been <laughs> able to do that if I just quit. I would have had to have been working, right? And I wouldn't be in this mentorship if I had just quit. I wouldn't be able to be here sitting here talking to all of you. There is so many things, right? So many things that you don't realize that you will miss out on if you just quit. You won't ever hit a life of the party goal. You won't ever 
hit a, like a director status or whatever status you want to hit with the company. If you quit, you won't hit your goals. You won't hit your goals. And if you have goals for your life that aren't paparazzi, like maybe you have a goal like that you want to buy a house. Are you going to hit that goal if you don't work hard? Nobody's going to be doing it for you. Or there's so much. There is so many reasons to not give up on your business. Take it from me. A girl who has taken way too many breaks in her life. Wait, nobody's going to work your business for you. And that's what it comes down to. You have to, I am speaking the truth. Absolutely. Nobody's going to work your business for you. Nobody's going to be like, oh, I'm going to go look at all of Tiffany's website and see what she wants. See what I want to buy from her. If you ain't pushing your website, they ain't going to it. <laughs> like, um, if you aren't talking about the opportunity, nobody's going to know that they can join. If you ain't pushing yourself, if you are not fighting for yourself. You're good, Jessica. It's, I know, everybody's going to be late. I picked a weird time to go live, and I kind of regretted it because my husband just came home, and we were supposed to be putting up our pool today, and I was like, oh, shoot, I have to go do this live. <laughs> oh, well, it'll be put up later. Um, I'm going to say um a lot. But, so make sure you're doing your DMOs, your daily method of operation. Do all the things, you guys, and you'll be hustling it. I'm working on it. I'm not going to lie. I don't do everything every single day like I should be, but it's a work in progress. It is a work in progress. Does anybody have any questions? Like, has anybody ever given up and trying to figure out how to come back? I, personally speaking, thank you, Whitney. I have... If my two downline hadn't quit, I would be director right now. But they didn't want to work their business. They thought it was going to be like a get rich quick scheme. And they were just going to do nothing and get all this easy money. But you got to work for it. Millionaires don't make money just sitting on their butt. They're working for it. Not always. Just going to point that out. That's not always the case. Some people are born into money. And then they live off the interest of the money that's in the bank. They don't work for shit. So not everybody has to work hard for their millions of dollars. They work hard in the beginning. They build a, they build a profitable structure for themselves. And then they live off the interest of the hard work they put in the beginning. Or they live off of where they sat their money and let it grow. So... You don't have to consistently be working necessarily if you have enough money to live off the interest. So I'm debunking that one. Right. All of, I mean, there's uplines that don't go to sleep until like six o'clock in the morning because they did a five hour live one night. Crystal did that last week. So, I mean, like, let's be real. If you ain't working your business, it ain't going to work. You have to work hard. It's not going to be easy, but you have such an amazing team that will be here for you. And if anybody has any questions, you can drop them in the comments. Otherwise, I think I'm going to end it there. I don't even know how long I've been live. Because, like, the first, like, three minutes, I was, like, talking to myself. But, anybody have any questions? Any comments? Any concerns? Just wanted to say... Thank you. Yes, it's hard. And there is going to be two trainings that I'm doing that kind of tie into this. But you guys will see. You'll see. You'll see. Otherwise, I want to say thank you all for hopping on, for watching this. I was nervous as heck. I have never done a team training before. And, yeah. <laughs> so, don't give up on yourself. Think of other ways to work your businesses. Summer, they always say summer is the slowest time of the year. Yeah, it but is. But it's only going to be slow if you ain't working it. That's not true. Do those vendor events. Do messenger parties. Bling drops, y'all. Bling drops have been my biggest hit. Um, album drops are good. Think of ways. Like, take your own pictures of jewelry. Take your own pictures. Those are such a big hit. Piece of the day. Like, if you guys don't have a VIP group, you should really have one. Because those 
like my, my VA peer group gets everything, but think of other ways to work your business. If you need to take time and you can't go live, work the other ways so you're not completely giving up. Because if you completely give up, then it is so much harder to just jump on in. The first live back is not fun. It's boring. Nobody ever really hops on because they still have to get used to you being there. Let's be honest. They have to get used to you being there. They have to be able to put their trust back into you. And that is a lot. I have lost so many customers because I wasn't consistent. And now that I'm trying, consistency is hard, but it is honestly the game changer of it all. Be consistent. Be your true, authentic self. If something is going on, tell your customers. I am very often jumping back in. It's been rough. Just remember what, yes. Remember what you're fighting for. Fight for your kids. If you have kids, fight for yourself. Fight for your dang self, y'all. If you have goals you want to hit, comment them. Comment if you have goals. Fight for yourself. Fight for your dreams. If you ever dream of hitting LP Gold, Pink Diamond, fight for it. If you ever dream about being director, fight for it. Don't give up on yourself. You guys, anybody can do this. Anybody can do this. It don't matter if you're in a wheelchair. It don't matter like it don't matter anybody can but i'm gonna hop off here thank you all so much for hopping on if you guys have any questions comment them otherwise i'll see you guys next month bye guys okay so what did we learn anyone anyone I didn't learn a damn thing. Why it's important not to quit and give up. Well, you said you, yourself you went into this blindsided. So you did yourself harm by going into something without the knowledge and education behind it. So you jumped in with both feet and you ended up hurting yourself in the process. This is my takeaway from it. You quit your full-time job because you didn't like all the restrictions on it and decided to do this full-time. I don't know how much inventory you have. I don't know if you're still an active consultant. I do know that you are not a director, so you haven't recruited three people, not for lack of trying, I am sure. But my guess is, is that you're either still active in paparazzi or you have quit paparazzi and you are now doing something else. But there are a lot of employers out there. We have a worker shortage since the pandemic. There are more employers being willing to be more flexible with people who have disability, with people who they're willing to work, but they need certain days. So they're like, I will only work on these days. Yeah, a lot of companies allow people to work from home. There are a lot of companies that are saying, nope, you have to start coming back to the office. Trust me, that's backfiring on them big time, especially up here in the state of Washington. So, um, you don't have to continue on with your multi-level marketing company if it's not working for you. If you went live and you tried your best to sell all summer and you didn't have success and you're working your algorithms and you're trying to boost your posts and you're still not seeing success, the problem is not you. The problem is the product. The problem is the negative press that the company continues to receive. And the fact that you didn't do your research before you signed up and you see this happening. Yeah, it's okay to admit that you, you made a mistake. It's okay to stop digging yourself into that hole and to turn around and walk away before you end up breaking through a sewage line or something and getting yourself covered in an array of crap. So, you raised a lot of red flags and you didn't seem to be aware of the red flags that you were talking about. So, for a training, I, I learned that you made a poor decision. You admitted that you made a terrible decision because you didn't educate yourself beforehand. So thank you so much for being here today, you guys. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment, share, subscribe, all the good things. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And a uh, special shout out, of course, to my financial supporters. Thank you so much for being members of the channel and financially supporting the channel. It's very much appreciated. And you guys have a great day. Bye.